Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And the other day in the ClickFunnels uh, support group in Facebook, there was a guy in there who was struggling with getting his uh, uh, Google Analytics set up on his site. And he was trying to do all kinds of text, uh, TXT files and DNS records, and I forget what it all was. And I just started to think about how easy it was when I did it. So I, I'm going to shoot this video to show you how simple it can be to get your Google Analytics set up on on your site. And again, as always, if you like my videos, just come down here in the bottom right hand corner somewhere, it will say subscribe, just whack that. And please subscribe to my channel. So first thing we need to do is we're going to set up the Google Analytics for mama Luigi's pizza.com. So let me just copy that out of there. And we're going to go into our Google Analytics. And this is the home page. And it may not look exactly the same. These guys want to change everything every other week. But you come down here to the bottom left and you click on add admin. And we could create a new account here, but I'm just going to use my ClickFunnels account where I store most of my domains that I use inside of ClickFunnels. And then over here, we're going to want to create a new one. So we're just going to say create a property. And again, this is totally new since the last time I came in here, but we definitely want something for a website. So let's click on continue. And then your website's name Mama Luigi's Pizza, and it is HTTPS, and I will paste in the domain name, and select an industry, oh, uh, well, let's just say whatever, what is, I guess it is food and drink, we'll put that in there, and uh, United States, and I am in Phoenix, so we will say Phoenix time, and we will create this property. And the screen bounces around a little bit, and you finally end up here. And all you want to do is grab out this code, the tracking code right here. We're going to go back into our ClickFunnels site. We're going to click on Settings, and we're going to look for our head tracking code. And we'll just open this up a little bit just to show you this. And we'll click on V to paste it in. And now we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and save and update our settings. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to log into our Google um, search console. So it's search.google.com slash search dash console, as you can see right up here. And so you want to go into Google search console. And again, every time I come in here, this looks totally different. But what we want to do is we want to click right here and we want to come down and say we want to add a new property. And again, our domain name, we will, we can't paste that in because we did the other. So let's type in Mama Luigi's Pizza.com. And we will click continue, verifying the property. And again, like I said, they've changed everything since the last time I was here. And what they're saying is I needed to use the URL prefix property instead. Uh, so let's try that. We'll click on that and we will come in here. HTTPS colon. So did I type it right? And we will click continue and it's verifying the property again. And now it says verification method, Google Analytics. To stay verified, don't remove the gtag.js tracking code. And we are done. That is it. That is how simple it is to set up Google Analytics inside of your ClickFunnels account. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.